What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. It's time to go underneath the house, do some work under there, try to see what we can get done on this wall that's falling in and uh, see if we can fix it a little bit, sure it up, and make it safe enough to get us through what we needed to get us through. So we're going to get down there, move some cinder blocks, throw some dirt back up in the hole that's fallen out, try to put the cinder blocks back up, and see if that holds up for a little while. Alright, so let's take the crawl to the back and show you what we're looking at and start moving some dirt and some cinder blocks. <clears throat> okay, we made it back. I'm going to show you guys. It is, the trailer is strapped down. Here's a trailer strap. Going down to a anchor into the ground. And this strap doesn't look, it's not broken. Like I said, the, p the pillars still look good. So my initial freak out about this, I think was over exaggerated. Look who found us, Simba. So we're gonna be moving this dirt, trying to putting it back up in this hole up here up in there let me see if I can show you there is concrete starting to poke out right up in there um, that's from the walkway up front that's why I can't get to it from the front because there's a, uh, a concrete walkway around the front of this trailer so I can't dig from that side to fix it from that side that's why I'm doing it from underneath the trailer doesn't look to be wet and I don't think moisture is the problem I mean it might be the problem but it's not like running out of here um, we've been pretty wet the past week and and that's not a problem so we're gonna be moving cinder blocks and pushing some dirt around Still digging out cinder blocks right now. It looks like they had a piece of tin right there. This trying to help hold back the dirt, and it just looks like it's slowly gravity is slowly winning. <laughs> that is what's going on here. I have no no idea how much you guys can see. Probably not much. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'll give you an update when I get some work done. When I make some progress. As you can tell I'm down here sweating. It's hot under the house. I'm going to show you what I got done. Uh, I've been down here for a few hours. Got the pillars free. Uh, you know, all the bricks off the pillars. Got it pretty much flat. And so tomorrow I'll be digging some more dirt, flattening it out a little bit more, and then adding the cinder blocks back. So let's see if we, it's completely dark outside. So the only lights is what I have from the light I brought down here. So let me see if I can show you what I've done so far. So we're pretty much sitting right in the middle of everything. So it goes that way. See that direction. Let's see if I can give you more, a little more light here. There we go. See, it says this. There was center blocks leaning up against this pillar right here to the left. No center blocks there. We opened that up. We dug it out. We dug it off that way about 10 to 12 feet. So now we'll stack the center blocks right there down the middle here kind of match them up with those cinder blocks there and then come keep coming down let's turn you around the other way so here's the strap and the anchor and then this there was bricks leaning up against this pillar also they're off they're free and we dug that out down there there's the other bricks so we'll line bricks up there we need to add a little bit more dirt down to this side, level it out a little bit more, and then we'll be done. I think we got another couple days left of work in here, and we should be good to go. So I am hungry, hot, tired. I'm going inside, get something to eat, and I will be right back. It'll be another day for me, but just seconds for y'all. All right, guys, it is the next day full of energy, ready to do some more digging, some more tamping down, try to level out a little bit, and then we're gonna stack those cinder blocks up to try to keep that wall back. There's gonna be a lot of extra dirt. I'm not gonna take any of the dirt out of there. That would 
That'd probably take me days at five gallon buckets at a time trying to crawl that dirt out. That would be a pain in the butt. So let's try to strengthen up the wall that's already there by putting a, a load of dirt along those first bricks that are starting, starting to tilt in, starting to cave in, uh, but I'm not tearing down. So we'll try to sure that up a little bit more. So we got to get back in this hole. I'm going to take all our utensils back there, our lights and our shovels and stuff back there first, and then I'll bring you guys in. Okay, let's go. Coming for you. Big pile of cinder blocks right here. I've pulled back. So it's all clear back there. We'll be stacking cinder blocks all the way back. Right down here is where we need to start leveling it off, right behind this pillar. We need to put some more dirt back there and then some more dirt back that way. Now I should preface this with, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I think should be done right now um, with our scenario. Taking into account how long we need this to last. If this was gonna be our forever home, as they call it, yeah, we definitely have some professionals come in and just redo all this whole thing. But we're gonna be building further back on the land, so we need this to last a few more years at max. I think I can fix this for now and uh, get us through instead of throwing a whole bunch of money at it and there's a lot of you out there that know better than me feel free to let me know what you think i'm a big boy i can take it i've been stacking cinder blocks behind me let me show you the process that i've been doing to stack them level them um kind of stabilize them and then move on to the next one it's slow moving down here, it's kind of cramped, so. Right where you're sitting, let me turn it around and show you. See the strap and the anchor is right there. So I'm gonna have to probably shave this wall back some more to be able to get around this. I don't think I did it quite enough to get a cinder block in there. Uh, I'm just waiting until I get to that point to see how much I need to shave off. I'll show you how I'm stacking it up. And so here's the wall that we're gonna continue on. Let's go ahead and check the level. We are gonna need to want it tilt backwards towards the earth that's coming in towards the, we're on a hill. So the hill's coming down this way. That's why it keeps pushing in and, and falling in this way. So we need just a little bit up here up front and give it just a little tilt towards the back. also take a little bit of dirt from, from behind and pull it up here to that point to give it that lip. Let's get a cinder block. just a little bit there's a whole bunch of rocks in this so I'll take a rock stick it oh that's not a rock it's a piece of dirt that's a rock I'll stick it right under the corner here and work it down in also put a rock here in the back corner just to, to help it there we'll rock it back and forth kind of Push those rocks down in, it's the dirt. That's looking good. Now we do want to kind of start to go and start angling back that way, back towards this wall to get around that strap that you're, it's right there, that anchor and that strap that's right there. So we are gonna, Angle it just a bit. Okay. Let's 
with it leaning back just a bit, tuck some dirt in that gap. So it'll stay now, that level. And we still got a whole bunch of dirt sitting out here that we pulled out. Take a shovel full, fill up the back. And I am taking a thin layer of dirt just on this front rim, on the front edge of this first one, and putting it right on that front edge to also give that next brick to just a little bit of tilt backwards towards the wall. Not, we don't want a whole lot. We don't want it falling over or anything. Just enough to really start fighting back on the earth when it reaches the wall. And we're tucking it in the hole, the back hole, we're tucking it in in between the new block and the wall. A little bit in that hole won't hurt either. If you want, get that base a nice sturdy bottom. And then time for another brick. Cinder block, you know what I mean. Just gotta move these things slow. Y'all cramped in room, don't have a whole lot of room in here, so can't move them too fast. You don't have a whole lot of leverage. <laughs> Same thing in the back. Put more dirt in the hole and in between the wall and the new brick. Pack it in so it gets nice and stable. And this top one, I won't put any lean to it at all. Just put it straight on top. Now this is the toughest one to get up. You gotta lift it up the highest. Now, Fill in the hole, the back hole. There we go. Rinse and repeat. That's all we're doing, guys. Almost done. Got the last three bricks to put on. I got a, a buddy down here with me, too. We're at Miss Rosie Posey down here. Hanging out with me. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. Show you what it looks like. It's almost done. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and finish everything. It's almost dark outside, but I think I can get this finished. And then go out. I started and fed the animals or done my night chores, so I need to go out there and do those. But let's look at it. So we have these top three bricks right here, cinder blocks to put on. Let me show you down the row all the way down we can see all the way through now with a wall in between the earth and the pillars now I know the first thing a lot of you are already gonna ask me and I'll go ahead and throw it out there since I've already been burned about it my wife came down and said uh what you doing just checking on you and the next thing she said was why didn't you stack them up um, stagger them. I was like, uh, I don't know. She said, you know, like, like a, like laying bricks. I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't. Maybe I should have, but I am not taking this whole wall back down and redoing it. I've already been called out about that one. What else you guys got for me? I would like to know so I can learn and be better for the next time. So while you were thinking, Let's throw these last three bricks up there. Next time I will stagger them. Makes more sense. That wall down there is starting to lean just a little bit, so we're going to take this extra dirt we have and throw it down there and brace it up a little bit all right guys those three bricks are up we're done building the wall all we need to do is clean this place out 
I'm not gonna have you watch me clean out cinder blocks and stuff. So this is where we're gonna part. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate any feedback you can give me on if you think this will work, won't work. Let me know. Smash that thumbs up if you would, please. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys.